Hello and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. We're back with Regnum Poloniae again because I want to take one of the more interesting routes rather than just ye old commonwealth. Oh, and the, and the, and the polka plays immediately. It is a good sign. I have just noticed that I start off with mechanized. What? I start off with a technology that's four years ahead. How did I not realize this last time? Well, you should know the drill from last time. Go down the initial tree, have a civil war, then uh, figure out what you're actually going to do after that. <laughs> and get land stolen by, uh, by Russia. And the Civil War has begun! Hello, Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine capitulated. Huh. And I got none of them, damn it. This is the wrong song for this moment. Well, it didn't matter anyway. The Senation government has fallen. Now the music is appropriate. Alright, this time for king, I will choose... Where is it? Yes, the Vettans. I'm going to be- I'm going to be infiltrating Germany again. <laughs> it's always a fun game when a mod has you do that. Oh, oh, it's gonna go straight into Civil War, okay. I assumed that I would be doing a lot more meddling than that, but I guess not. Oh, I can join the war. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, Hitler. Say goodbye. And... And the Nazis are gone. And I apparently got claims... over here? So I can only take this one since since the German Empire kept Konigsberg. Oh well. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind, I got what I wanted. Why did you not take anything? You son of a bitch. Take your land. God, do I have to do it for you? Okay, I'll just- I'll just annex, uh, Eastern Prussia from this focus. Well... I'll just... give it back for now, then. So I don't have to deal with, uh, garrisoning it needlessly. Alright, I'm sure the Germans were... More than happy to give this up. I don't have cores on it, though. <laughs> Do I have a button to core it? I gotta say, things have been awfully quiet ever since the German Civil War. Awfully quiet. Hmm. Well, I did have a button that would do horrible things to Lithuania, but the Soviets took Lithuania. I was building up 800,000 troops to do that. I wasn't fast enough. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm- guess I'm just waiting to go to war with the Soviets then. Way to ruin it for me, Russia. Well, somebody's gonna have to take a stand against the Soviets. And I guess it's gonna be me. Alright, Finland and Estonia have joined the pact. Oh, and that also gets Estonia as my puppet. And probably Latvia too, if they still existed when I did that. <laughs> Oopsie. 
Solving the Turkish problem. I'm sure that taking this will lead to peaceful endeavors. Well, uh, it would. Uh, the plan to solve the Turkish problem is certainly going to be an interesting one. And they have agreed. And if you didn't read that, uh, message, uh, Apparently, uh, if I go to war with the Allies, Turkey will get some territory here in Syria and Iraq. Oh. So, okay. <laughs> what have I done? Wait, wait a minute. France and Britain just now announced their alliance? I didn't realize they hadn't done it yet. It's 1940. Oh yeah, Turkey's my puppet now. <laughs> what am I doing? I, uh, I think I have made the intermarium, and then some. Uh. Oh, Germany's doing something fun. They're going to make Austria-Hungary come back. Oh, Greece is my puppet too. Who else is my puppet? No, it's just Greece, Turkey, and... and Estonia. Okay. Not too crazy, yeah? No? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And crazy. Oh, Hungary's finally doing something, at least. Hungary's just... Oh, Hungary's... Hungary's doing the thing with Romania next. Ah, there it is. Hungary demands Transylvania. What will Germany do? Well, I don't know what happened in the background, but apparently it involved Romania declaring war. Or, no, Hungary declaring war on Romania. Well, uh... That complicates things. Please leave Hungary alive. We need them to form Austria-Hungary. Sure, you can join the faction. You won't exist in a while anyway. Japan declared war on Yugoslavia. Why does this keep happening? Why is it that when a game goes off the rails enough, Japan just declares on Yugoslavia? I don't know why it happens. Hey, you can't join. It's a vanilla thing and it's weird. And that just complicated everything. And now the Soviets are attacking. No. Alright, Soviets are here. Hungary started this. It's their fault. Fuck you, Hungary. Alright, what revolt have I spawned this time? Oh, it's the same one as last time. <laughs> okay, whatever. Can I get the encirclement? Yeah, encirclement, all right. Not as big as I would have liked, but... Hmm. I can either secure the dynasty or poison the king. I don't know why I had poisoned the king, but I'm interested to find out. Oh, I've made a precautionary save. Wait. According to this, I have Latvia puppeted. Latvia doesn't exist. I have a puppet that doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. That's a- that's a bug report. <laughs> oh no! My king has been assassinated! Uh, Victoria Louise is in charge. Oh no! Mussolini's dead! Oh, does that not automatically get them to be a puppet of Germany now? Well, that's probably for the best, considering they seem to have declared war on the Allies. I've taken Moscow. Wonderful. 
How's my uprising in the east going since, since Japan's fighting them? Okay, it's getting complicated. That's what. <laughs> Poland will have its own Victorian era. It, units of Hussars of Death will be deployed. Well, I want to know what those are. Weekly manpower plus 1500? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't need manpower right now. What I need is equipment. Brazil wishes to join me, of course. What the hell is this unit template? These are the Hussars of Death. What the hell is this? Okay, well, get on the front line, I guess. I got an extra four spots here where I was gonna put tanks, but I don't have enough tanks to produce. Uh, the Soviets are dead already. I only got to, like, here. I don't think I'd quite taken Stalingrad yet. What? Well, that was fast. Alright, there we go. And now I just gotta... Now I can reform the Commonwealth. I finally own Lithuania. And I don't get the decisions to do anything with this territory until I get to... Here. No. These two, yeah. So. Gotta wait. Now I am the Great Empire of the Republic of Poland? Oh, that's confusing. Oh, right. I'm at war with Japan, aren't I? Uh. Ignore my preparations for joining against the Allies. I need to take care of Japan first. Sure, I'll join the anti common turn pact. Gotta protect ourselves against Russia, don't we? What are you doing? Oh, right. <laughs> you have war goals against the Allies, but can't use them because I have a non aggression pact with the UK. Keep it that way. We'll go after them when I'm ready. Did that just- wait, did creating all my protectorates just delete the part of the Japanese army that was over here in the military protectorate of the Far East? Yeah, because that's still mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, this is the part where I ask Liberia to submit. Yay. What do I want, Liberia? Oh. Oh, fun. Germany found a way to declare war on France without... Despite the fact that I have a non-aggression pact with both of them. Ah, shit. Okay, well, at least at least I caught them by surprise. Yeah, that. I can't entirely fault them for this, considering that they caught them by surprise. They have already taken Alsace Lothringen. All right, time to join Germany's war with the Allies. Well, I completely obliterated their destroyers. Wow. 22. <laughs> I'm fairly certain their navy was stronger than me in that instance. I got, I got, I got whacked hard though. Ooh. That leftover Nazi navy did its work. Oh, I've cut off the entire Japanese army in Manchukuo. <laughs> no supply from the home islands now. Oh dear. Huh. This time the British Navy caught me and I still slapped them around. I need to build more destroyers. Keep sinking them. <laughs> they really keep sinking is my submarines. Please lay off the submarines. Those are there to destroy you, not me. Uh, d they just keep coming at me and they keep losing. Alright. Japan kicked out of... Uh, oh, never mind. Hold on. They're still up there. I'll... I'll let the idea with it. Fuck it. 
I need to go help Germany. Okay, it would appear that this time it was not me that did work with the British Navy, but the 80 German naval bombers that were escorting my submarines. They took out two carriers. I think those carriers may have been out of planes. There was only one fighter there, and it died. Oh, uh, poor British. I'm running into a weird issue where territory keeps flipping back and forth between the Germans and the French because I'm moving through the lines past the Americans that they're at war with, but I'm not. Because for some reason, they don't want to break our non-aggression pact. <laughs> like, they won't, e they won't even do it to get called into the war. They don't want to take the stability hit. <laughs> Which is honestly a first I've seen for the AI. Oh my god, I, I'm not paying attention to Yugoslavia. Oh god. Oh, they got it. They got it. It's fine. Everything is fine. And France has capitulated. Wait. Um. I don't think this is the right. <laughs> this isn't the right speech. This is the opposite speech to what should be playing. The eyes of the world. What? <laughs> Why is the D-Day speech playing? I guess you're just playing this game of running in and out of the Italian territory as the Americans recapture it. Right. Germany, can I have... I have the Italian territory so that we can not play this game. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can finally annex Estonia. The last of my cores. Oh, yes! All these troops can disappear. Alright, Italy conquered. Uh, I suppose I should, I should start thinking about invading the UK, since I think that if I capitulate the UK, the Allies will collapse without me having to invade America because I'm not at war with them. <laughs> Things get complicated when you're only at war with part of a faction, okay? I have once again forgotten to research transports. Can't even plan my invasion yet. <clears throat> uh, I managed to make the naval invasion with only five units. Okay, well, uh, everybody file in. And I was correct. That has caused the collapse of the Allies. The war is over. Well, except for Germany's war with America and Mexico. That's not my problem. Well, I think that was a successful conquest as Poland. This time under Victoria Luis I. After playing this a second time, I've realized that I don't like how peace conferences work, where everything it costs one. It's basically clear that peace conferences I don't like that. <laughs> It'd be one thing if there was an option for um, how it works in Kaiserreich, where you really can only take things and everything it it is controlled by decisions that appear later on. It sort of feels like it's halfway there, so it doesn't really work. Also, despite Germany giving me Konigsberg and Ermlin Mauserin, I can't core it. <laughs> it's occupied. I can't core it. I, 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 did, I, I brought the Kaiser back. He's happy. The one that's dead is probably happy. 
And I'm not going to go any further because I don't want to navally invade Japan or the U.S. So I will see you all next time.